Okay, we have a video. I am... I, I, I love the video memes. I love them. <laughs> oh no! 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 Oh no! No! What's up, Brozones? Welcome to Meme Time. That's not the right title. Uh, meme, meme, meme review. Meme review. Meme review. <laughs> it's actually been 50 weeks since I've done, since I did my first meme review, and I've been wanting to do a second one ever since I did that one because it's a, it's a good video. You should go and watch it right now because it's still funny to this day. And that's the great thing about memes. They will outlive us all. Um, that's a bit depressing. Of course, we now have the Tales from the Peterplex series, and so I want to do some memes regarding the Tales from the Peterplex series too, but also not forgetting about Fast of Rides, because people still remember that series. So, you guys have sent me some memes in my Discord server, and we're gonna react to them. Let's go! Alright, girls at sleepovers, let's summon a demon. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fun. Boys at sleepovers, who keeps summoning them? <laughs> Okay, that's a, that's a great start. That's actually quite a good start. Um, I don't know why I found that funny. Wait, that's not even funny. Okay, we got, wow, the these first four books were really cool and interesting. I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Why is the villain of this one a stop sign? <laughs> it's true, it's true. That is my least favorite story in the Fazbear Fright series. Kids at Play is... It's a story. It's I don't even know if you can call it a story at this point. It is it's just weird. It's I it's doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It is not explained at all. A kid turns into a, a traffic sign, uh, a kids at play sign, if you will. It is written very well. I'll give it that, okay? When when he is turning into the stop sign or kids at play sign, it is like, I, I regret saying this, but it is kind of creepy, okay? It's it's kind of gruesome. In the flesh, though, S tier, the storyteller. Oh, I, I've seen I've seen this, this picture go around a lot when the storyteller came out. What is this tree? Can somebody in the comments tell me where this tree is from? Because I am so curious to know where the tree is from. It's probably something really obvious like Legend of Zelda or something. And I just don't, I don't know it because I, you know... I haven't played all the games or something. Susie and her sisters having an emotional goodbye, aka making out. Chico waiting for them to finish already. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was like that. Okay, we have a video. I am, I, I, I love the video memes. I love them. Okay, we had some good ones in the last time. Let's see if this one's good. Has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or a country. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just stupid. It's so dumb. I mean, kids at play sign. Kids at play signs are dumb, okay? Can we just can we just admit that? Can we as a community, as an entire world, can we just admit that kids at play signs are dumb? Actually no, I'm kind of saying that kids should be killed by cars now. Tony looking for GGY Rab. <laughs> Wait, that one's actually good. That's actually good. And I like I like the Tales from the Peterplex one. I like it. Uh, let me know in the comments as well, like, did you think that the big reveal at the end was a big reveal? Like, did, did you see it coming that Rab was, was Greg? I saw it coming, I think. There were a few clues in there, including, I think Dr. Rabbit was too kind of like on the nose. And also, I remember the preview for that story came out way before it was leaked or anything. Uh, and the description for Rab was the exact same as Gregory, and everybody immediately caught on. Like, uh, Rab is sus, Rab is sus. Um, so yeah, I don't think it was an, um, uh, like a massive reveal, but I think it was really, it was done really well. Me when security breach. Me when tales from the Pizzaplex, especially summer canophobia. I wouldn't say that. I think you're putting words in my mouth. I'm assuming this is coming from you. Summer canophobia is. It's mid, I would say. I'll probably do a tier list sometime in the future. But uh, I would say some mechanophobia is, is very mid. The Bobby Dot appears. What on earth is what? You guys don't make any sense. What, what, what does that even mean? The Bobby Dot, okay, sure, whatever. 
Oh no, my moderator Fanafi has sent me a video and I can already see what it is and I hate it. Want to be dominated? We'll dominate you. We'll ask you to be gentle. <laughs> oh no! 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 Oh no! No! No, 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 you can't do this to me! No! Stop, man! It's not that funny! How many bloody times am I gonna see this meme? Okay, okay. Whew! Okay. It's so stupid. I hear the music and I already know what's coming. I, I, I actually think I have seen this meme a few times before and it's so stupid. It's ridiculous. Me forcing a game fan to read the books. Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. True. True. Very true. I'm assuming there's no non-book readers watching this. Otherwise, why are you here? And if there are non-book readers, then do you get any of these memes? Like, <laughs> do you actually understand any of these? Do you get like all the context from like game theory videos? Do you, I'm assuming you probably watch other people's videos to understand the stories rather than actually reading the stories. Let me know in the comments, how do you get the information from the stories? Do you read summaries? Do you actually read the books? Do you use my audiobooks? Where do you get all the information from? That's something I actually want to know. Okay, so we have a live Lala reaction. That's great. I, I want to put that in like the is that the by the 87? <laughs> We've been trying to contact <laughs> That's good. That's good. We've been trying to contact you about your cars E? Cars E? You do know insurance starts with I, right? Oh, it cars extended. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's great. That's that's from Room for One More, um, the um, graphic novel version by Anthony Morris Jr. Uh, and that's Funtime Foxy as the cab driver, the the classic cab driver Funtime Foxy. Sergio's lucky day, and B7. They're both but they're both the same and pointing at each other. I don't know. I would say they are very different. I think. Sergio's lucky day, he didn't realize that he was cutting his facial features off, right? He was putting all of his trust into the into Lucky Boy, the, the balloon boy stand-in essentially. And the Lucky Boy was using illusion discs, as confirmed by the Ultimate Guide. And those illusion discs were making him look more beautiful. I would say Sergio's Lucky Day is more like to be beautiful than B7. I, I think they are similar in themes, but very different in terms of the plots and, and stories. And I think they are both worth a read. I think they're both pretty good stories. Uh, B7 especially. What? If you're cold, they're cold. Put them in your mouth. What? Is that, can you even, what is class as a meme these days? I feel like anything can be classed as a meme. I think you just put some random words together and pretend that it's a meme. <laughs> How is that a meme? If you're cold, they're cold. Put them in your mouth. What? This is by Impulse Evan. GGY be like. You know what, Greg? You're not a good friend. Wait. How could you even say that? I'm a great friend. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really good. That fits really well. What on earth? That fits so well. That one isn't, it's not like funny, but it's like very clever. So well done. What? Impulse 7, the clever boy is at it again. Edwin, when the robot he made to mimic his son, mimics his son. It's true. I think he should have seen it coming, honestly. I think it's a similar situation to Fetch, right? Where in Fetch, we have Greg, again, sorry, Greg, um, who literally, like, he knows what's going down with Fetch, right? He knows that there's this REG stuff, he's a really smart kid in the class, and he knows that anything he asks for, Fetch goes and gets it for him. So why the frick at the end of the story does he decide to go, oh, I really want my crush. What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the? It's kind of the same thing here where Edwin is like, you know what? I'm gonna make this program to mimic everything that humans do. Like it, it, it will witness things and it will mimic things. Uh, and then he decides to beat it up. Tails from the Pizza Plex and Fazbear Frights. 
That is very true. That is true. Unfortunately, I think Fazbear Frights is a brilliant series. I just think a lot of people didn't connect with it. Maybe because it wasn't as connected, but I also, I just feel like the quality of the stories has gone up a lot higher. And it's probably because, you know, Fazbear Frights was maybe like their test run. <laughs> Sorry, I read ahead. What if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said the game is only meant for two? <laughs> That's great. And I love that picture of Lally. That's just, it's very memeable. It's very memeable. What do we got here? Some say he's William Afton, but he isn't. He's William Afton's mimic cousin. <laughs> oh my. Explain. Always coming back is his second favourite thing. What's his first favourite? Attacking thing? people. That's it. Is he does it a lot. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's a great Top Gear clip. Um, yeah, that's that's great. That's a really good meme by Spooder right there. I'm a, I'm assuming you made that by yourself. That is that's perfection. That's so well done. I love how it's Gregory and Freddy, um, and then Burn Trap just bursts through the door. I mean, mimic mimic bursts through the door. Literally the Tales from the Peter Plex epilogues now. Kids. The Mimic. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Wow, how did you get like that? Every time Tails makes it clear to be in the game universe, I do one push-up. <laughs> okay, dude, okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Me and the boys at 2am mimicking beans. It's these ones I just... I actually can't. These ones are just so funny to me. The randomness of it. It's just insane. It's so funny. I would never read FNAF books. They are cringe. Scott added anime girls. <laughs> I d okay, I don't really know why they were anime. I guess to kind of put more emphasis on the fact that they are digital versions um, of kind of the animatronic. They were like the... They will say the Mimic 1 versions of the Mimics. No, they were they were the digital consciousnesses. So yeah, I think that's probably why they were kind of anime girls. But I, I really liked the Bobby Dots. I thought they were really cool and amazing characters. And I think those are some of my favorite audiobooks that I've done um, because I really like doing the voices of them and giving them more personality. I am going to pile up the heads and arms of the Endos, right? Of the Endos, right? Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, again, just a clever one. Not a, not a not a funny one, but a clever one. The man in room twelve eighty. <laughs> what the hell is this? What on earth? Okay, this is so stupid. Okay, so there's Easter eggs in this. I can already see. So we got W D Gaster, A.K.A. the man in room twelve eighty, A.K.A. William Afton. Then we have Arthur Blythe, A.K.A. A Lego priest for some reason. Then we have a nurse, aka Nurse Fremont, I'm assuming. And then outside we have Arthur Blythe's bike. What's it called? Is it called Ruby? I think it's called Ruby. It, I think it was Ruby colored at least. It was like, it was a it was a glowing red bike and I remember that it, it like contrasted very well to the rest of the story. Um, showing kind of like Arthur Blythe's light to the darkness that he's about to walk into. And then he gets kind of like, overhauled by this darkness at the end. He gets overwhelmed by it. And then we also have Golden Freddy just peeking through the window. Kind of creepy because I didn't see that at first. And then we also have Don't make books or make 25. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I actually really like that one. I like that one. Because Scott, oh my gosh. Don't make books or make 25. Oh, wow. The Pizza Plex and Security Breach, the Pizza Plex and Tails on the Pizza Plex. So true, so true. I guess I have a conspiracy, right? I reckon Scott Cawthon was like, you know what? I want this Pizza Plex and I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that. And then the, the guys at Steel were like, hmm, that's a great idea. Why don't you put it all in a book series? And then in that book series, have loads of incidents happen, and then all of the places are shut down because of those incidents, and therefore, we can make a pizza plex with only like three attractions. I'm joking, by the way. I think the pizza plex and security breach is sick. Oh my god, so much text. Okay, we got John and Charlie. Ella has a disc that makes her look like you did as a little kid. Yup. Afton said he took you, not Sammy, like you thought. Yup. 
Henry designed four robots that look like you and we've seen a toddler and an adult. At least one must be between those two ages like a teen. That makes sense to me. And you never get older. So that robot would be, he must have felt bad about Sammy and made me a friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, that's actually funny. That's actually really good. That's really well structured. I like that meme format for it. I think that's cool. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, I know exactly what this is gonna be. This is gonna be a, what's the story called? There's so many stories at this point. What's it called? What we found. It's gonna be what we found as a meme. Hudson is gonna go in the oven. Yep, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. There was my second FNAF book meme review. Uh, if you want, you can send me more and maybe I'll do another one. Uh, a lot sooner than I, yeah, a lot sooner of a gap, yeah, you know what I mean. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the memes, uh, and I will see you later, goodbye.